Morning gorgeous. Welcome back to the vlog. So for those who follow the vlog, this is literally 20 seconds after my previous vlog, the one where I went to collect Tamora Sankey and the Dainichi Black Diamond. And in that vlog I mentioned that my big Yamabuki, the one in the corner now, she's been just lethargic this week. The odd slow roll. So she is coming out tonight for a checkup. I've never actually had her out since she went in. I'm gonna actually transfer her in a clear bag so I can keep an eye on her pecs and her tail, make sure I'm not grabbing hold of it rather than use the sock. Right, let me go to work and pick this back up when I get back. anywhere a slime coat's good maybe even quite thick on here this has just been knitting up over the last couple of months Sausage roll, not a bacon roll. Let's go for a little roll, alright? Change a lot of a little thing. Well, I've scanned every slide with 100 zoom. And then I've also, anytime I've thought there's potentially something there, flicked over to 400 zoom. But she's clean as a whistle. And I knew she would be. I knew I wasn't going to find anything. But I had to get her out.
chili vanilla. That is a bittersweet moment. Bitter because I found something and sweet because I've actually found something. Well, that just goes to show how important it is to do multiple scrapes. I'd actually taken seven scrapes. So I'd done each side around the gill openings, around the ball joints of the pecs, towards the tail, and then I'd done underneath as well. So that's seven separate scrapes. So if I'd have only done a couple, I would probably have missed that. Right. This is a test to see if she's fallen out on me. There she is. Come on, my donkey. We're still the best of mates. Summon the gelp nice and early. Dose the pond with FMG premix. I know I've only found one chilli vanilla, but I think more for peace of mind than anything I'm going to treat. Probably a, a few doses. I'm not going to put it in now because, as you can see, they're, they're quite happy. Yeah, I'm going to wait till the morning. I want to be able to put it in and at least have an hour just to make sure that they're happy. And I'll trickle it in nice and slowly. Right. Catch you in the morning. Good morning. The weapon of choice. I'm fully decanting it just to make sure that uh, it's not crystallized. It's all good. 340 mils. Dosing buckets ready. So I'm going to add it to this. And let it slowly uh, go into the pond. I'll keep pouring a little bit of fresh water into it, constantly stays full this bucket. So what I've done is a little hole and then that will slowly disperse the FMG which is obviously being watered down and then it's falling in with the water of the blade so it mixes in nice and slowly and also so it doesn't go in its sort of concentrated form into the filters should have given them less of a knock. The UV's off. The annoying thing is, I've come out to the pond this morning and they all looked absolutely right as rain. And the funny thing is, before I added these new fish, I thought I'll sit for an hour, check that the fish all look good before adding any new ones. Obviously I'd seen the yammy, but she seemed fine. And then when I've come out, to see how the others are doing in the morning. She's soaking. So it's not ideal, but maybe in the long run, I'll actually be better off that I've done it this way. At least then I'm not putting fish in and then possibly having to treat again. So right, take care everyone, and I'll keep you updated on the next vlog.